Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is Staphylococcal meningitis, you know. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, alternatively you can click the link in the description area which is just below this video so once you click that link it will lead you to the website now I come to the topic what is a staphylococcal meningitis you know staphylococcal meningitis which is also known as SM it's a bacterial infection affecting the meninges you know so meninges uh, are the protective covering uh, around the spinal cord and brain and the condition is rare and uh, it can be fatal if it's not treated properly you know and uh, uh, staphylococcal meningitis is defined as uh, either hospital or uh, it may be the community acquired you know and the both infections are dangerous whether it's hospital acquired or whether it's uh, community acquired you know uh, the only difference uh, is where they were obtained, you know. And when the staphylococcal meningitis is caused by the staphylococcal auris or the staphylococcal epidermidis, you know, a bacteria, it is usually from the surgical procedure. Now, the early symptoms uh, are vague, you know, and uh, uh, they may not be taken seriously because they resemble to cold or flu, you know, and the symptoms grow more serious as the infection worsens, you know, and the diagnosis requires finding uh, like staphylococcal auris or the staphylococcal epidermidis, you know, bacteria in your body, you know, and your doctor may also uh, take the blood tests and take the imaging scans of the brain, you know, and uh, with to help to diagnose this condition you know and the treatment is difficult because the condition is rare and the doctors don't uh, see it much you know okay and the many patients uh, were given the uh, wrong antibiotics upon arrival at the hospital and even with the correct antibiotics the risk of death is very high you know uh, and the you know, people were uh, with the like uh, with underlying conditions like uh, 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 like uh, uh, compromised immunity you know they are at high risk of getting and uh, high risk of mortality you know uh, you know that because the symptoms are common to many other diseases so it can be difficult to diagnose you know um, and the most common symptoms are like uh, uh, fever or headache and vomiting you know and the less common symptoms may be shock or low blood pressure and the decreased consciousness you know there are two ways a person can be can contract the staphylococcal meningitis the hospital acquired or the community acquired you know and uh, then the community acquired means that uh, you got the infection outside of a hospital or the healthcare setting and the both infections are treated the same way you know and once uh, you get the infection uh, the germs cross the blood, uh, blood, uh, blood brain barrier you know to infect the brain you know and once inside the brain and uh, the bacteria infect uh, the meninges you know uh, it's very important to know the risk factors and they may include like a history of inflammation of the organs you know and diabetes or maybe uh, a history of hospital stays and the surgical procedures and that like taking the immunosuppressive drugs you know in case of uh, like uh, uh, organ transplant etc you know you know the doctors uh, diagnose this which is based on the clinical tests of the positive uh, cultures of the germs that cause the disease you know and it's, it's necessary to determine which specific type of germ is causing the meningi uh, meningitis in order to uh, treat it properly you know and the most common causes of the meningitis are like viruses uh, the bacteria such as Staphylococcus pneumonia or uh, maybe Neisseria menin uh, meningitoids, you know, or Haemophilus influenza, or maybe Listeria 
uh, monocytogenes, you know. So these are the different uh, uh, kind of the germs that can cause the staphylococcal meningitis. And in order to correctly identify the type uh, uh, which is causing this meningitis, you know, uh, your doctor will uh, usually perform uh, the tests like bacteria culture or uh, uh, magnetic resonance imaging tests and the other imaging tests, you know, and the complete blood count to uh, look for any sign of infection, you know. And uh, once diagnosed, then what are the treatment options is the most important question, you know. And the treatment with the correct antibiotics must be given very quickly. And uh, the blood cultures should uh, let your doctor know which uh, medication is more uh, uh, suitable, you know. And most are given intravenously to reach the infection as quickly as possible, you know. And the correct antibiotics to the uh, staphylococcal meningitis include like uh, uh, cefaroxin, you know, or maybe uh, diclo, uh, diloxacin, you know, and uh, uh, methicillin, you know. And, uh, but the other, uh, there are some antibiotics that should not be prescribed like ampicillin or penicillin and erythromycin, you know. And the treatment for the worsening case of the staphylococcal meningitis may include like mechanical ventilation by mask or throat tube to give your brain more oxygen you know and the dialysis may be used sometimes if there is a sign of any kidney failure you know and the outlook is not favorable you know mortality rate is very high and because it takes, as I said, you know, uh, and if the treatment is started early, you know, uh, there are better prognosis. But if it starts late, then the mortality is high, you know, and uh, prognosis is not good. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you and goodbye.